In this video I will try to survive 100 days as a dragon tamer in hardcore minecraft. The world is full of dangerous enemies so if I want to survive I will have to collect powerful gear and weapons. I will also fight multiple dragons and try to tame them to create my own dragon army. So I spawned in this strange biome which was full of pink trees and that's pretty much it. Just a big pink forest. Anyway, I did what every Minecraft player does in a new world and I got some wood. Also, I managed to get some green apples from the trees, which is pretty cool I guess. After I had a decent amount of wood, I decided to do some exploring. And at first, I didn't really find much, just a ton of apples. But sometime later, I saw this tower in the distance and I could also see that there were some knights on it. After getting a bit closer, I realized it was a whole fort. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wasn't ready to take on the fort, so I left it for now. Oh, oh my god, I nearly just killed myself. Oh, why is there a skeleton, man? What the hell? After getting away from the skeleton, I saw this strange structure, but I wasn't too interested in exploring it right now. Alright, how is there no sheep in this world? So yeah, I wanted to find sheep so I could make a bed, but instead I found a seagull. I mean, at least it gave me an achievement. But yeah, it got dark pretty quickly and I still couldn't find any sheep which was bad because I didn't want to stay up the whole night. Luckily, I eventually ran into a small group of sheep and I quickly took them out and made myself a bed. Oh my, what the hell? Yo, bro, I literally opened my eyes and a spider jumped on my face. After getting jumped by a spider, I decided to make myself a little house so it wouldn't happen again. <laughs> Once I was done with that, I killed that stupid spider. I realized I was still stuck in this pink tree by him, so I left the place to find some different land. And yes, I did ditch my house, so building it was a complete waste of time. Sometime later, while running through a forest, I got ambushed by slimes. Oh my god. And these things were literally the most annoying creatures, like ever. Anyway, there was a tower with knights right next to me. And also on top of the mountain was some weird big house. So I decided to make my way up towards the structure. And while I was going there, I saw a village in the distance. Okay, back to this thing. So I became curious and I wanted to see what was inside the building. So I mined the wall and yep, I got shot by a skeleton. Yeah, I was definitely not ready for this place. Once I got to the village, I decided I should make myself a better pickaxe. After that, I looted some of the houses. And in one of them, I found this villager hat, which decreased the price of villager trades. You know, the, the, these villagers were always scamming me. So this was actually a really good thing. So yeah, I put on the hat and now I look like a true... I don't even know, I just, I just straight up look like a peasant. Anyway, it was dark, so I went to sleep. The next day, I decided to search for more of the houses. I forgot to mention that there were guards in this village, which was great since there were some terrifying monsters like dragons in this world. I also managed to get myself some iron armor from these like random armor stands. And yeah, I actually didn't know campfires could hurt you. Like, is that an actual vanilla Minecraft thing? Because honestly, I don't even know. I play with so many mods all the time that sometimes I forget what's actually in like the actual minecraft game all right anyway i only had half an armor set so obviously i had to complete it next to the village there was like this massive hole there was some iron there so i mined it i then found this blast furnace in the village and i used it to smelt my iron after that i mined some more stuff and even got attacked by a creeper oh my god jesus once my iron was ready i made the remaining pieces of armor an iron sword and I also found out I could make myself a dagger, which was actually better than an iron sword. And finally, I of course crafted a shield because shields are like the best thing ever. Okay, now that I was fully equipped, I decided it was time to fight some enemies. I put my stuff in a chest and I made my way towards the tower as I believed it would be the easiest thing to take on. Alright, we're going to that tower over there. Yeah, that tower, that's where we want to go. It's going to be my first place I raid in this 100 days playthrough and hopefully I don't die. What the hell is this? Why is there like some creeper monuments here? Okay, that is just very random. But... Uh, hello, anyone here? So I defeated three knights and you know, I thought this would be easy. <laughs> well, I was wrong. Oh no, that's a big guy. Oh my, whoa, whoa, my health just dropped. Oh my God, oh, okay. After running away from the knights, I realized their vision wasn't that good. Like they could only see about 10 blocks so I decided to take advantage of this and I picked them out one at a time. And it kind of worked I guess. When I defeated the big knight he dropped some steel but I wasn't too sure on how to use it. Alright after that I decided to slaughter every remaining knight. What an idiot. Oh my god. Okay I need to run again. Oh they have arrows now as well. After defeating everyone I realized that there was no loot. A whole tower full of knights and literally not even one chest. At least the guard villagers were doing the job properly and I didn't have to worry about any mobs during the night. 
I wanted to do some more fighting and exploring, but I desperately needed food. Luckily in my chest I had some blueberries and I planted a few to have a reliable food source. I also had some raw meat, so I decided to make a furnace and I started cooking the meat. After that I used some iron to make myself a new axe which I used to gather some wood. Once I had everything ready I decided to attack the structure on top of the mountain. As soon as I got there the skeleton started shooting at me. Also when I attacked them some of my hits caused me to get damaged which was kinda annoying to be honest. Anyway, after defeating them I bore up to a higher floor of the structure and there I saw a chest. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, this place had way better loot than that crap tower. Once I looted the chest, I got attacked by another skeleton and this one had better armor than the ones from the lower level. After defeating it, I found another chest with more amazing loot. After that, I went up the stairs. Oh my, okay. <sighs> you know, I, I was starting to think that this is a bit too easy. Yeah, I was not gonna go up that way. So instead, I climbed up the building so I could have the high ground and I broke my way in. I then bought this little bridge thing and then quickly blocked off the entrance. And there was another chest with more good stuff. After that, I tried going up this ladder but there were even more enemies. Also, my shield health was really low and since I was in hardcore, I decided to play out safely. So I decided to make my way out because there was no way I was going to fight those things without a shield. Once I got to the village, I got some sleep and the next day I got some wood. After I had all the necessary items, I made myself a shield. Shield. and I also made a chest so I could deposit some of my new stuff. Alright back to the tower, I had two extra shields now so I was feeling a lot more confident. I decided to do the same thing as before and I bought my way up and I'm actually way too high up. Okay. Once I was in the correct level I started mining through the wall and for some reason there was only one enemy which was great. Of course there was also a chest which was full of good stuff and it also contained this blaze arrow which was pretty cool I guess. When I got back to my little spot in the village, I deposited my stuff in a chest. After that, I decided to do some exploring. Sometime later, I ended up in this dark green biome. And here I saw some weird thing. It looked like a slime but had legs, was glowing and it could also fly. Yeah. Anyway, there was also this small fort here which is probably more important than a flying slime. Once I got closer, I realized that this was a pillager base. After defeating the pillagers, I used my parkour assassin skills to break into the fort. After getting in, I managed to find one chest with items and also a melon. But apart from that, there was nothing else there. So yeah, that was kind of disappointing. What's going on over here? What the hell is this? Yo, what is that? There's fairies here? When I got back to the village, I went to my chest and deposited my stuff. The next day, I literally spent all of it just sorting out my chest. Yeah, it was a long process, but honestly, I think it was worth it. Alright, anyway, I decided it was time to attack this huge fort that was next to the village. It didn't spawn in properly, so I had to board up to it. Oh shit, there's a knight, there's a knight. Alright, that was a bit close. Alright, let's just take him out like this. Nice. I knew there would be a lot more knights inside, so I decided to board up so I could get the high ground. Oh my, what the hell? Bro, these guys are crazy. Yeah, these guys were not very smart. Anyway, I got to the top of the wall and luckily there weren't that many enemies there. I managed to find a bunch of chests and each of them contained some cool diamond stuff. I killed a few more enemies and then I made my way down to the bottom floor. I didn't really find any crazy items, but I found something I actually really needed. Loads of food. I literally got a whole stack of cooked steak. Once I went to like the middle bit of the fortress, I saw like these strange plants and it kind of looked like those plants from Plants vs Zombies. <laughs> anyway, hitting them with a sword did not work at all. Okay, oh. So I decided to use my bow and I managed to kill one of them. The creature dropped this thing called a foliar seed, I think that's how you say it, which would basically allow you to grow this plant. Since I've been around on this world for a while now, I decided it was finally time to make myself a house. I still had that old one I guess, but I had no idea where it was. Anyway, I started collecting a lot of wood, and after that I started mining the dirt to equal out the ground. I then started building my house, which in the end I destroyed because I didn't like it. I wanted to build something better than just a box house, so I started over, and it took a while but it was honestly starting to look good. While working on my house, I saw some strange creature just flying around. And I wanted to kill it, but first I decided to finish my house. After adding a few more things, it was done. And honestly, it didn't look too bad. Since that was done, I went to that weird purple thing. And it was just floating in the air. And it would like shoot out purple slimes. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell that was. But yeah, it wasn't really that strong, so I killed it quite easily. And it dropped spores, which... Yeah, it was basically useless stuff. So yeah, this is a dragon video, and you're probably wondering... Where the hell are the dragons? Well, I was planning on setting out soon to, so I could find some, but 
First I wanted to make myself a bow since it was like the best weapon for fighting dragons. And to make a bow I needed string so I went mining so I could find some cobwebs. After some time I ended up in this strange cave and there I saw some big golem sleeping. And I decided to hit it with my sword which of course made it wake up. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh shit! After nearly dying, I hid inside my little tunnel I dug out. Also, the golem was kinda dark and it went in lava which made it lose a lot of health. After getting my health back up a bit, I started hitting it with my sword until it finally froze. What just happened? Did I kill him? Oh no! And yes, of course, my item ended up falling into lava. <laughs> Great. Anyway, sometime later, I found this random chest and a barrel. I looted them and got some fish, but most importantly, I found string. Once I got back to the surface, I made myself a bow and then I started cooking some food. I tried to go to sleep but apparently there was a monster nearby. It was a creeper and of course it blew up and destroyed some of my house. Oh for fuck's sake. While I was fixing my blown up house, this suddenly happened. Bro what the? Yo yo what the? Bro I didn't know I was playing a horror game. It's got jump scared in Minecraft man. Right let's fight. What? Where the hell did you come from? Once I got past the villager, I saw the knight and started fighting him. Not long after, I managed to defeat it and it dropped this thing called a strange alloy. Great, another random material that I had no idea how to use. Anyway, I now had a bunch of good weapons and gear, so I decided to leave the village and search for a dragon. After a few days of walking, I saw this strange structure. I approached it and it was basically some type of well. I looked down it and then I saw like some weird void thing. I guess if I jumped into it, I would either die or go to a different dimension. And I didn't want any of those things, so I just carried on walking. Literally right behind the well I saw this giant fort and this one had a lot more soldiers than the ones I had previously attacked. I decided to come back to it once I had a dragon. Not long after I left the castle I saw this house. The house looked abandoned and once I entered it I even got an achievement. Inside I found a barrel that contained some food and there was also this supply ship chest. After going up a ladder I found a chest that actually had some pretty good stuff in it. Once I left the house I made my way towards this big rock ball. For some reason there were just so many things in this area, I don't know why but anyway the rock ball was literally just a ball of rock, yeah, nothing special. But next to it there was some ruins and while walking through them I managed to find a chest and here I found some item called feral claws which would increase my attack speed. I was able to put them on my hand and it actually looked pretty cool. Sometime later I was running through a birch forest when I suddenly saw a dragon. Oh? Oh! oh, oh. There's a- oh there's a dragon! That is a dragon. Wait what? Oh shit, it was biting me! Ah! Yo, why did I scream like that? What? Anyway, the dragon kept on chasing me and I kept on running away from it. Eventually, I managed to somehow lose the dragon so I went to his lair. And there were a lot of chests there, which of course I proceeded to loot. Sometime later, the dragon managed to find me. I used my bow to shoot it and eventually it was dead. I then used my fist to take apart its whole body. On the skull it said stage 3 so I guess this was a level 3 dragon. And to get a dragon egg, I had to defeat a level 5. Eventually I managed to get back to my house. I put most of my items in the chest and then I used the dragon skills I got from the dragon to make myself some dragon armor which was actually really OP. Look at that, plus 9 armor, plus 2 toughness and it increased the protection from dragon attacks. I actually had enough scales to make myself a full set. After that I remembered I still had that ship thing that I found at the abandoned house. I tried using it but it was some huge ship and I didn't know how to place it. I also remembered I had this cool shield mod so I made myself a crude wooden shield. I was then able to turn that into an iron shield which gave me a lot of protection and now I looked even better. Since I was a lot stronger now I left my house in search of a level 5 dragon. These were actually really difficult to find so it took me a while. Oh there's a diamond nice. After I mined the diamond I realized there was a bunch of ice which was kind of strange. I started mining it and after destroying a few blocks I realized that it was a dragon cave and there it was a level 5 dragon. I started building myself a small platform in preparation for the fight. After that was done I shot the dragon with my bow. This of course woke it up and the fight started and this dragon was really powerful and it was literally destroying the whole place. Oh, eventually the dragon managed to escape from the cave and the fight continued above the ground. After taking many shots, the dragon finally froze and it was dead. I climbed the trees and looted the dragon with my fist. And it dropped many things, but most importantly, it dropped this blue dragon egg. I did it. Right, now let's just walk back home. Once I got home, I made myself a new chest and I deposited all my new dragon items into it. After that I grabbed some ice and then I made this thing which you needed for the dragon egg to actually hatch. 
Oh, it froze. Okay. So yeah, the egg froze and the hatching process started. I literally sat there waiting the whole day. And eventually I looked up and there was a giant forest fire behind my house. Why is the forest on? Oh no, my house. I kind of panicked, so I grabbed my water bucket and I tried using it to put out the fire. Because honestly, I thought this fire was about to burn my house. But in the end, I just gave up and I went to sleep. The next day, it finally happened. Oh, it spawned. So yeah, now I had my very own baby dragon. I grabbed some dragon meat from my chest and I used it to tame the dragon. Also, it could sit on my shoulder, which I thought was pretty cool. My dragon was obviously level 1, which was basically its baby stage. And to level it up, I had to feed it this special dragon food, which required bones and any raw meat. For this, I needed loads of meat, so I decided to make an animal farm. No, no. Oh my god. Just come here. Just sit inside the house, okay? I searched for a bit and I ended up finding a small group of pigs. Using a carrot, I led them all the way back to my house. Alright pigs, you're doing well, just keep following me. I then trapped them in this pen and for some reason, these dumb slimes were attacking me. They're so annoying man, just die, please. Anyway, to make the pigs breed, I obviously needed food, so I started making this small carrot farm. After that, I just ran around with my scythe, taking out every animal I would see. While I was doing this, I saw this structure. What is this? So I decided to enter it and it was guarded by a bunch of skeletons which were really easy to defeat. I opened a chest and it actually had some really good stuff. After I was done looting the place I left it and while I was making my way back to my house I suddenly got attacked by a gang of knights. In the past I struggled fighting with them but now I was a lot stronger and I easily killed all of them. Well this is the best weapon ever. Seriously mate. I have more kids guys. The next day I made one dragon mule and fed it to my dragon and it kinda looked like it worked but one dragon mule was not enough and I needed to make a lot more so the first thing I did was make my food farm bigger so I could feed more animals. I also got a bunch of cows. After feeding the animals I killed a few of them and this allowed me to make four more dragon mules which once again I fed to my dragon. This whole process was really long and really really boring but it had to be done so my dragon would grow. So I did expand my farm. A tiny bit. Yep. Look at that. Look at all this potential food. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Alright, anyway. Let's go and make some more stuff. Eventually, the dragon was starting to become a bit too big for my house. So I had to move it. I decided to put it outside, but it was a bit stupid. I nearly died because of a bush. So I ended up making this whole cage for it. But this dragon was growing really fast and needed a lot more space. So of course, I started working on making the cage bigger. Many days later, it was complete and now the dragon had a good amount of space. Over the days I was like building this thing, I managed to save up a bunch of dragon meals. So I decided to feed my dragon. While I was feeding it, this happened. Keep feeding it. Oh! And it just broke the closure. Why? Bro, you just... Do you know how much effort I put into making this? Yeah, just like that. Many days of hard work. Destroyed in like two seconds, man. Anyway, my dragon was now stage 3, which meant it was able to fly. And this also meant I could now ride the dragon. There we go. Go on the dragon. Oh. Uh, which, yeah, of course was really fun. I flew around the world when I suddenly spotted this big fort. And it was guarded by loads of soldiers. Hello guys. Since I now had this OP dragon, I proceeded to kill everyone. Like this creature was insane. It could literally break through blocks and it didn't even take any damage. And look here, just like headbutting these people, man. It, yeah, it was crazy. Okay, let's kill these guys as well. Bro, they can't even touch me. This is literally just hacks. Nice. Oh, this... Whoosh. Bro, how dare you shame me? After basically killing everyone there, I started picking up some of the loot. I then broke into this house and I found a bunch of diamonds. I also realized that I still had loads of dragon meals left which I had literally just forgot about. So I decided to use them the next day. Dragon, dragon, I got more food, more food. More food. Just eat everything I've got man. Oh that is a fat dragon. Wait, what level are you now? Yeah, so now my dragon's stage 4. Wait, I need a better. After that, I just continued destroying everything with my dragon. Oh, look, it's another castle. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, 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 wrong button. How did I just not die? Oh my god. Anyway, I found this like random golden place in this 
random biome like I had no idea where I was but there was like these spawners and there was supposed to be enemies coming out of them but for some reason it just wasn't working so that was a bit annoying alright well, that, this was a waste of time that stupid thing wouldn't even spawn anyway I went back home and I made this thing called the dragon command stuff and it would basically allow me to make my dragon sit in one place so it wouldn't just randomly fly away after that I decided to find another dragon and I wanted my dragon to fight that dragon because I thought it would be pretty cool. It took a long time to find it, but eventually when I was in this tunnel, I saw some ice and I started mining it. Ice. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Bro, I nearly, I nearly just killed myself. So yeah, there was the dragon. I made myself a little platform which I could stand on and then I fired an arrow at it. And this dragon did the same thing as the last one, basically just got angry and started destroying the whole place. At one point it got stuck so I managed to damage it a bit by using my bow. I decided to just run up and leave the cave hoping the dragon would follow me and it actually did. It was still kind of stuck though so I just started attacking it. Once it got out the fight continued until this suddenly happened. Oh, I killed it? I think I just killed it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. honestly, I thought the fight would be a lot more epic. Anyway, I bought up using some stone, and then I took apart the dragon's body. Did I get any eggs? I did. <gasps> oh my god. Ow. And this one actually dropped a silver egg, so it was a different species compared to the one I already had. But yeah, I just continued exploring the world, flying around in my dragon, but yeah, I eventually managed to reach the 100th day. And I even managed to raise my very own dragon, so yeah, it was a... Great success. 